This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Sunday, February the 3rd, 2019. It's the feast of St. Blaise, the Bishop of Sebastia in modern-day Turkey. He was martyred in AD 316. He's one of the 14 holy helpers and one of the most popular saints of the Middle Ages. Most of us nowadays know about St. Blaise because the blessing of throats with two crossed candles is frequently offered this weekend uh, at masses all over the country. The priest or deacon holds the candles to the throat and says, Through the intercession of St. Blaise, bishop and martyr, may God deliver you from every ailment of the throat and every other illness. You don't need to be Catholic to receive the blessing, but it doesn't hurt. Today is the day the music died. Back in 1959, three of the greats of rock and roll were all on board a small chartered flight leaving Clear Lake, Iowa. Buddy Holly had ordered the flight for he and for his bandmates Tommy Alsop and Waylon Jennings, but Richie Valens and the big bopper, J.P. Richardson, were on the flight instead. Richie Valens got Alsop's seat on a coin toss, and Waylon Jennings gave up his seat to the big bopper because the bopper had the flu. The rest of the crew rode on the tour bus along with Jennings and Alsop. The day was memorialized by Don McLean and his famous anthem, American Pie. The plane went up, and almost immediately, bad weather sent it down. The plane crashed, and everyone on board, that was the pilot, Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper, died in impact. The day the music died, 1959. And today in 1961, the U.S. Air Force officially initiated Operation Looking Glass. Put simply, there are several planes outfitted with everything needed to launch the U.S. nuclear arsenal and command the U.S. armed forces. Right now, every second of every day since 1961, at least one of those planes has been in the air. The closest it's ever been to being used was 9-11, when President Bush checked in with the plane as soon as he was evacuated to Air Force One. Thankfully, that plane has never been put to use, and it's been through a couple of models and a couple of revisions, but Operation Looking Glass is still going strong, and even as we speak, there is a plane in the air that is prepared to do what needs to be done. Finally, today is the birthday of the icon of classic Americana, painter and illustrator Norman Rockwell. Born 1894 in New York City, died in 1978 at his home in small town Massachusetts. Rockwell was a freelancer and a staff illustrator for the Saturday Evening Post, among others, where his sketches of small town life were beloved of ordinary people but all too often dismissed by pop-art-obsessed critics. They said that his work was too sweet and it lacked edge. Rockwell wasn't afraid to make social commentaries, and his work spoke to controversial matters like civil rights, women's freedoms and equality, and poverty in a way that was pointed and yet subtle. His work is now highly prized, and in 2013, one of his most famous works, Saying Grace, sold for $46 million. The Catholic Daily Journal was supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. And until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.